Hello, I'm Kanchan Vaidya and welcome to a quick overview of using Hyperlinks DDR Wizard for fast, reliable and accurate analysis of DDR interface on your board design. DDR3 technology is no longer restricted to the high-end PCB design market. DDR3 technology uses the flyby topology where the clock arrives at each memory chip at a different time. The memory chips can be arranged in any combination of number of slots and ranks. This adds a whole new level of complexity to the analysis as the design needs to meet setup and hold time restrictions. It's important to note that the timing margins are measured with respect to the DQS signal, which in turn is dependent upon the clock signal. By selecting appropriate on die termination, we can ensure that there are no reflections and the signal integrity is maintained. Depending upon the technology, DDR operates at multiple speeds. Typically, the higher the speed, the smaller are the setup and hold time margins, which requires greater attention to board routing. Keeping track of buffer timing margin requirements, routing guidelines, and so on makes creating and maintaining a DDR-X design tricky. Without a dedicated DDR solution, such as that in hyperlinks, one typically runs multi-cycle simulations, makes manual measurements, and estimates setup and hold margins using a complex spreadsheet. Hyperlinks automates the entire time-consuming manual process and generates a pass-fail HTML report that's easily shareable. You can import design data from Altium Designer, for example, using the ODB++ and IPC2581 standards. If you have the Cadence layout tools installed on the same machine as Hyperlinks, you can directly point to the .brd file to translate and import the design into Hyperlinks. Hyperlinks DDR can be inserted into any PCB design flow for DDR analysis. Hyperlinks DDR has a convenient wizard-based interface that helps designers analyze DDR1, 2, and 3 designs. Other than timing and voltage requirements, there are other DDR capabilities that need to be accounted for. On-die terminations are required to avoid reflections and they need to be different based on the controller and DRAM chip settings and they need to be toggled on whether the chips are in read or write cycle. This needs to be taken into account during simulation. If you have the required controller timing information, the timing wizard assists you in creating a simple timing model for a DDRX memory controller. DRAM timing models are controlled by JDEC. They ship with hyperlinks and can be used as is for memory timing requirements. Calculations and measurements are automatically done for write leveling and slew derating. For better signal integrity, DDR3 and low power DDR3 memory designs typically adopt a flyby topology for address, command, control, and clock signals. These benefits, however, create skews between clock and data strobes. Write leveling in the memory controller compensates for these skews. Signal skew derating is a technique of adding or subtracting a delta time adjustment to the setup requirements of the DRAM. This can be very complex because each transition on each bit needs to be measured to determine the delta times, which can end up being thousands of measurements. Once we click Run, Hyperlinks DDR will simulate all possible combinations of read and write cycles for all the signal addresses, command, control, clock, strobe, and data nets for the user-defined settings from the wizard and create a report that will list the pass, fail, and worst case results for the simulation bitstream. For example, in this simulation, nets DM0 and DM1 pass the setup and hold margin calculations, 
but fail the overshoot and undershoot requirements. In summary, hyperlinks DDR can be easily added to any PCB design flow such as those of Altium or Cadence or Zookin or Mentor to design and verify DDR designs with only a few clicks.